Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Permission to Live in the End. Um, I was, um, I woke up listening to The Law and the Promise by Neville Goddard. And something that was said uh, when I was listening to the audio just jumped out at me. And I said, I have got to share this. And what jumped out at me was there is no no in imagination. There is no no in imagination. Um, just think about how many times we have uh, desired something or decided we were going to try to use our imaginations regarding something and we gave up so quickly or it just never manifested. It never came to fruition. Part of what I understand this to mean is that what we are desiring, what we are imagining does not feel natural to us. And why doesn't it feel natural? It doesn't feel natural because we have gotten so used to the no's in our lives. We have gotten so used to the feelings of unworthiness, uh, possible feelings of rejection and all of this stuff that has been, I like to say, it's, I liken it to data collection. And we're, we've collected data over the years and because of the familiarity of that data collection of the no's and the rejections and all of this stuff, we take it into the process of imagining. When I have terrific news for you, we are imagining in the now has absolutely nothing to do with the past, nothing to do with anything that we have collected from the past. But here's what I want to share with you. If it should happen to be that you have collected this data, which we all have, um, what we have to do, and I'm, I'm thinking about, and I will share the video uh, where I went through the process of what I'll call, we have to go through the hallways of our own minds and pay attention to those things that are causing us to still feel unworthy, that are still making us feel like the answer is going to be no automatically or whatever it is that is causing us to not be able to accept what we are desiring. And I'll give you an example and I'll share the video where I talked about um, going from uh, jumping from job to job or going from job to job, believing that what I wanted was to make more money and, um, you know, and I did, I did, I felt like that's what I wanted. But ultimately when I sat down with myself, because I, I noticed, I'm like, something's going on. Something's got to give. This is not what I want to do. I don't want to keep going from job to job. I want to understand exactly what it is that I want, at least at that moment in time. And when I sat down with myself and allowed myself a space, a carved out space and time to really hone in on what I wanted, I found that what I wanted at that time was to work part time, making full time money. And here's what immediately started to happen. So it happens with me as well which is why I'm asking us to pay attention. What immediately started to happen was um, there were thoughts that started to rise up inside of my mind to challenge what I said that I wanted. So I'm saying I want to work part-time making uh, or uh, yeah, work part-time making full-time money. And the two things that jumped out immediately were how dare you how dare you want to work part-time making full-time money? And who do you think you are? These are the two things that jumped up. So these are my data collected friends, I'll say, that were in the hallways of my mind that could have possibly um, just bulldozed over anything that I had accepted in my 
imagining at that point in time. Um, but what I needed to do was sit with those thoughts and not for very long. I didn't sit with those thoughts, but I needed to know within my own mind, because guess what? Those no's, those rejections, all of that data collection is it exists in our own minds. It's not really the truth. It's not reality. So we have the opportunity to decide whether or not something is true for us now. And so when I heard those, those things like, how dare you want to work part-time making full-time money? And who do you think you are? I had to sit with each one of those thoughts and pay attention to whether or not those thoughts were a data collected memory, something I was just memorizing because it was something that was playing itself over and over again in my mind, or was it the truth? Was it my current reality? And as soon as I was able to say no to both of those things, that they were not the reality for me, that they were not the truth, and that all they were were memories that were playing themselves out in our minds. And just like Neville Goddard says, it was my imagination that was even causing those thoughts. As soon as I was able to reconcile that these things weren't the truth of my current reality, I was able to move them to the side and truly accept and have it become natural to me that I wanted to work part-time making full-time money. And I shifted from where I was in my mentality to living in the space of working part-time making full-time or, or um, yeah, working part-time making full-time money. And this is even though I still had to go into a full-time job on a daily basis. I was already in the space, already living in and residing in working part-time, making full-time money. So I just wanted to reiterate today, there is no no in imagining. Thank you for stopping by my channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.